Hugh, the late 20th century. Cleveland began to decline once again. This descent was further fueled by redlining and housing discrimination aimed at African American residents. The 60s were capped off with the Cuyahoga River fire, which was not an uncommon occurrence as it still holds the record for river that has been set on fire the most. While we left the river fires behind in the early 20th century, and the 70s and 80s saw some positive notes such as the Clean Water Act and the first African American mayor, Carl B. Stokes. These decades did a serious number on Cleveland. What really kicked off the city's demise was defaulting on their core loans amounting to $15 million. They had incurred these debts from local banks in order for the city to operate. This default left Cleveland with the title as the first city since the Great Depression to default on their loans. If you enjoyed this YouTube short, click that subscribe button and check out the full video right here on Company Insight.